What's good, YouTube? This is your boy, Quinway Basketball Analysis. First, I want to promote my website, analysisplayground.com. You can check it out in the description and in the comment section below. There you can find NBA Rookie Analysis, Summer League Analysis, NBA Breakdown, NBA Tribute, and NBA Mock Draft only on the website. Make sure you sign up with your email address and sign up as a member so you can talk to me and talk to other members in the website and stay up to date with the website once it gets started. Uh, I got to get it redesigned and get the written consent of the NBA. But you want to sign up early so you don't have to do it later because I will be leaving YouTube in the future. Uh, We're going to go through this list pretty quick because there's not really much to discuss. Uh, only thing is the top two players uh, is a de debate between offense versus defense. Basically, between Kevin Durant and uh, Kawhi Leonard, I got them one and two. Kevin Durant, number one, because he's the better scorer, 28, eight rebounds and five assists. Better free throw shooter, better three point shooter, and they both got the same efficiency field goal, both 51%. But Kawhi Leonard just keeps up the pace with the defense, you know. But Kawhi Leonard just almost there, he just got to get a little bit more shots. If he can get the same amount of shots as KD, at least 20 shots a game, he probably can put up 25, 27 points a game, and he'll be up there with KD as far as offense. He surpassed them defensively years ago. But offensively, he still got a little bit more to catch up to KD. And then after that, I can see Kawhi Leonard taking a number one spot from KD. But KD is obviously, looking at the number from 2011 to 2016 this year, KD obviously been the best small forward in the league years ago. LeBron just been in the Eastern Conference, which is the weaker conference, honestly. And But KD did break his leg, too. So Kawhi was the best small forward last year. Number three is LeBron James. LeBron been declined. I seen it a lot more last year in the playoffs, but he declined years ago. Uh, he got Kevin Love, Kyrie Irving, that, so he can age gracefully because, you know, they're younger than him, and they in their mid-20s, and they still some of the top players we got in the league. So it should take some pressure off of him and let him age so he don't have to work as hard. I'm not saying you got to not play hard, but he just don't have to do as much because he got two great players around him that's actually young and energetic and actually can dominate in his clutch. So it takes a lot of pressure off LeBron, and it allows him to age gracefully. PG-13 is number four, one of the best two-way players we got in the league. Uh, I like PJ PG-13. Uh, he got a nice jump shot. He need to get to the basket a little bit more, get to the free throw line a little bit more, and take better shots, and his field goal percentage will go up, his free throw shots will go up, and that help increase his scoring total. When he shoot too many jump shots is when he at his worst because it hurts his team because he don't make them consistently. Sometimes PG be a streaky shooter, and that's why he need to get to the paint. He's 6'10", 6'11", he's athletic with long arms. He can get easier buckets shooting layups and dunks than shooting threes every single possession that he get. Even though his three-point shot is wet, it ain't wet enough that he needs to just take it every time. He needs to work on his inside game to make it easier for the three-point game to open up. But his coach should have been telling him that, but I'm going to be the person to tell him. If he wants to make his game a lot easier around him, he needs to stop taking threes and break down the game easier. It's done in the mid-range. Then that opens up your three-point shot because they got to respect you from blowing past them in your mid-range game. Then they open up your three-point shot to be easier. Hoopers know. He know what I'm saying. It's true. Carmelo, number four. I mean, number five. I usually don't ever have him on my list. He actually never makes the list, but this season, Gordon Hayward down, Rudy Gay went down, some players just went down, and this season, Melo actually went up because his rebounding and scoring, his efficiency, went his three-point line went down a little bit, but his team ain't winning either, but Gordon Hayward's ain't winning that much, Rudy Gay's ain't winning that much, so we don't have no excuse for them no more, so Carmelo gets back at the five position, really don't want him in there. But it ain't no, there's not seven better small forwards this season than Carmelo. Carmelo actually is the number five spot. So let me know what you guys think. Check out my website, comment, like, subscribe, and share. Quinway Basketball, Anisto Basketball Analysis signing out. And Anisto is just how I say it in Spanish. I might switch it from analysis to Anisto. But Basketball Anisto signing out. Let me know what you guys think. Quinway Basketball Analysis.